What's really inside a proton? At the most fundamental level, the universe is constituted of indivisible particles. That's just fifth grade science for you. We've learned about protons, neutrons and electrons, but science has advanced so far beyond that. And there are even tinier particles making up those subatomic particles. Did you know protons and neutrons are also composite, containing more basic quarks and gluons? And according to scientists, 99% of an atom is nothing but empty space. What does that say about the structure of each component? Here's everything you need to know about the inside of a proton. Let's have a look. The discovery of quarks and gluons isn't entirely new. We've known about these building blocks for decades, but the theoretical and experimental understanding of the way in which these particles and their interactions with each other result in the structure of protons as we've traditionally known is still somewhat incomplete. Scientists have concluded that quarks, one of the most elementary constituents of matter, also have mass, an electrical charge, a colour charge and weak force couplings. They interact with all the other known particles, the list of which is quite impressive in itself. These particles include leptons, photons, weak bosons, Higgs bosons and gluons. And there aren't just a few quarks lying around each proton. Instead, protons contain a sea of all these particles. And the more energetically you look inside, the denser the sea appears to be. A composite subatomic particle made of two or more quarks held together by strong interaction usually refers to a hadron. Deep inelastic scattering is a technique where the insides of hadrons are probed using electrons, muons and neutrinos. And it's an incredible process that helps reveal these particles and antiparticles by essentially smashing protons together. Considering that the concepts of dark matter, dark energy and several other unexplained phenomena in the field of particle physics have been explored and developed further in recent years, the standard model alone isn't enough to satisfactorily explain everything. We need more advanced techniques and models to fully explain the very origin of mass, energy and ultimately the universe itself. If you ask an astrophysicist how they perceive and study the universe, they'd usually refer to concepts that focus on the outward. On the other hand, particle physicists take an alternative approach. They look inward at matter itself in hopes of unlocking the mysteries of the universe. In tandem, these diverse approaches enable scientists to have a holistic view of the structure of the universe, its nature, rules and composition. The essence of particle physics can be traced back to the main ideas presented by Democritus around 400 BCE, where he proposed that everything is composed of atoms, which are physically but not geometrically indivisible. He went on to state that there lies empty space between atoms, that atoms are indestructible and that atoms have always been and always will be in motion. The Large Hadron Collider at CERN, which is the world's most massive energy particle collider, has revealed many of the standard model's secrets, but there's still plenty of research to be done before we can reach any decisive conclusion. More data at higher energies, although risky and expensive to obtain, increases the overall probability of discovering something fundamentally new and unique. It's how science progresses after all. So for experimental physicists, future colliders at higher energies are the best hope of discovering something novel inside the proton. That's it for today guys. We hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you enjoyed watching, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe to SEMA's Top 10 and turn on the notifications for more amazing content. Thank you for watching and see you next time.